Hi guys, welcome back to the Pop Culture PhD. Today we're going to be taking a little bit of an overview and a review of the Wonder Woman New 52 Omnibus by Brian Azzarello and Cliff Chang. So, and in front of you, you can see the dust jacket. It's a gloss finished dust jacket with the black background. It's got the creator's names underneath the title and it's got some beautiful Cliff Chang artwork on the front cover. When we turn it on the side to look at the spine, we can see that we can see that we've also got some more Cliff Chang artwork on the side and we've got the title with the black and green background and the creator's names once again with the modern DC logo and then turn it onto the back of the dust jacket we can see that we have further Cliff Chang artwork which is another cover from one of the original issues where we can see Wonder Woman firing Eros's Golden Desert Eagles and it's got a bit of a description of the series as well. It comes with a 125 US dollar um, cover price and um, in Australia that would be a, a steal if you found it for that. So removing the dust jacket we can see that on the front cover we've got the green and um, black is from the dust jacket has continued but we can see that the green is the major colour and the black is the minor colour and we can see we've got Wonder Woman jumping into action there on the front. The spine is very similar to what we saw. The spine is very similar to what we saw on the dust jacket again just with the colour scheme inverted and in the back cover it's just a different piece of Cliff Chang art showing Wonder Woman jumping into action. So before we move on, let's just open up the book and have a look at what we've got inside. Now the binding on this omnibus is pretty good for a DC. It does have some creaking. It is a sewn omnibus, but it does also have glue. So that creaking you can hear when you open the book is just the glue settling as you turn the pages. Remember, when we open these books, it's always important to, the first time we open them to lay them flat. So you've got both covers laid flat and just go a few pages at a time as you open it. I've already read this omnibus, so it should be fine. It shouldn't be damaged, but making sure that the first time you open one of these books, because they're a considerable dollar value investment, we get, we open it properly. Now, if I move it back, we can see that the spine has this nice eye hole here, which is good for a DC omnibus, okay? So you're not gonna get too much gutter loss on your pages. So let's go back to the front of the book. Open it. We've got uh, our inside of our cover and our first page. We've got matte red paper and some stars. And then we jump right into the book. So as we can see, we've, the book was written by Brian Azzarello and the art was done by Cliff Chang. Now, Brian Azzarello's vision of Wonder Woman is a little bit different to what we're used to pre-New 52. It's much more focused on a sort of old contemporary um, reimagining of Greek mythology. And we also get a new origin story for Wonder Woman away from the traditional uh, post-crisis storyline. So as we open it, we can see we've got credits for all the creators and people at DC who bring these books to life. We've got a good contents page showing the name and the number of each issue and what page they're on. DC can be hit and miss with this sometimes, but they got it right here. Continues on the next page. And then we jump right into the first issue. Each issue has the cover art um, done by Cliff Chang. And then it also has the color art, the cover art with just an orange and black and white um, coloring. So as we jump into this series straight away, we can see Cliff Chang's artwork is not really the typical DC house style artwork. It um, took me a little bit to get used to Cliff Chang's style. Originally, when I first started looking at um, 
DC work. I really only like Jim Lee, Jason Fabok, Ivan Reyes, Gary Frank, that sort of style of artwork, David Finch. But the more comics I've read, the more used to different styles I've gotten. And ever since I read Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughan and um, Cliff Chang, I've really grown to appreciate his art style. And he does fantastic work in this omnibus. And it's really, the, the format of the omnibus really brings out the artwork much more so than I found when I first read this stuff digitally back in 2011 or so. Now, as we can flip through, as we flip through the omnibus a little bit, we can see some of the characters we've got. Brian, um, Brian Azzarello's version of Wonder Woman, he looks at a lot of the different Greek gods and they're reimagined with very contemporary style um, designs. So we can see Strife here, who is one of Wonder Woman's siblings. And we've got Hera, she is where wears her green cloak made out of peacock feathers similar to the way it was in hercules the legendary um the legendary journeys where she was represented by the peacock feathers we've got hippolyta is much more of a warrior in um the new 52 with her battle axe that sort of thing than i remember her being in some of the other wonder woman runs i've read so Hera and Strife play, both play pretty major roles within this storyline. Um, we can see that we've got Hermes, the messenger god. He plays a pretty major role as well. And all of the gods and goddesses have these really non-traditional designs about them that really separate this run from other Wonder Woman runs where Zeus and the gods had very um, traditional Greek mythology appearances. Now, as we go through this run, um, I really enjoyed it. I love the artwork. You can see Poseidon looks very different to how he would normally look. He's sort of like a giant frog creature. Um, this run really introduces a lot of siblings of Wonder Woman who, because we all know that Zeus really used to get around in Greek mythology, so Wonder Woman has a lot of siblings in um, this series. We can see also Hades here has a very unique character design. And Eros has his twin desert eagles, which is very, very Brian Azzarello. So he really puts his own spin on this series. Now, Zola here is um, one of the main characters that's introduced by Brian Azzarello. She's a new character for Wonder Woman, as far as I know. Um, and she plays a major role in the storyline as a figure that Wonder Woman needs to protect from um, other Olympian gods and things like that. We've got Hephaestus here, the, the Smith God. And I'm not going to talk about too many specifics of the storyline. We've got a few more of the Greek gods represented over here. Um, this is a spoiler review, as I have talked about a few little bits and pieces that are new information when you read this storyline. And I'm flipping through the omnibus and showing a lot of the artwork. Um, so, yeah, if, if you don't want to... Um, know any of the storyline you want to blind buy this book you probably shouldn't be watching the review so another god that has a, a particularly different sort of um, representation here is Ares who he's not wearing his Corinthian helmet and battle armor and things like that he's sort of depicted as an alcoholic older man with a big white beard and he's not really the antagonist of the series which is different to traditional Wonder Woman stories where Ares is usually the antagonist of the storyline. Um, I know when I read um, the Phil Jimenez run, Ares is very different there to what he's like in this series. And overall, New 52 Wonder Woman was one of the stronger series coming out of the New 52. So New 52 is sort of infamous for being sort of a step backwards for DC for longtime fans, 
But for someone like me who got back into comics just as they were launching the New 52, I did really enjoy a lot of these stories that made the characters much more accessible to new people. So this was one of the runs that I really enjoyed back in 2011. I liked how they contemporized a lot of the character designs. I don't particularly like Orion's character design. I think this was much better in Grant Morrison's JLA or the Simonson stuff. But overall, this was one of the stronger series from New 52. If you liked this, you definitely should check out one um, Aquaman from Jeff Johns, the New 52 run, as well as Batman by Scott Snyder, Animal Man by Jeff Lemire, um, Swamp Thing by Scott Snyder. Those are all really strong New 52 runs. All right, let's keep flipping through quickly. I won't show too much of the end. When we're looking at the back of the omnibus, we've got a little bit of back matter and you can maybe hear that creaking of the spine a little bit there. So I'll rest it on the, on the table. So looking at the back matter, we've got a sketchbook by Cliff Chang showing some of the designs he's done for Wonder Woman, the Amazons, the Greek gods, things like that. So lots of sketches here showing each of their designs and some of the draft designs that he had before he came up with his final. Then we've got a few more characters. Um, Brian Azzarello does introduce a fair few new characters into the storyline. And then we've got some original promotional art and some alternative covers. Most of these are by Cliff Chang. And then we got some breakdowns of his cover sketches as he approached the final finished product. And we've got a fair few of those looking at um, most of the covers for the series. And then we've got a little bit of a story outlined by Brian Azzarello with some rough pencil pages by Cliff Chang, giving a little bit more of a look at their process of how they went about creating the final product. And that continues for quite a while. So people who like an insight into the creation of these books and these comics should really enjoy looking through um, there. And we've got a few more variant covers in the back, we've got the Mad Magazine variant. We've got a um, sort of more cartoony version. And then we've got our um, JG Jones. We've got another Mad, we've got Mike and Laura Alred's cover there, a Rosie Riveter style cover, a couple more, Terry Dodson, Rachel Dodson, and oh, beautiful work by Lee Mayho to round out the book, okay, who is a longtime collaborator with um, Brian Azzarello as well. All right, so guys, that brings this video to a close, and um, thanks for watching, and continue to I'll be doing more book reviews. My next video is going to be looking at the Namor Omnibus, but in the future I do intend to have a few more slightly more creative videos and not just book overviews and collection overviews all the time. So please check back in, see what we've got coming in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.